dragon spirit awakens. We're starting off with the Marcian Sentinel at number 10. The Marcian Sentinel is going to add some chaos to mid speed SI decks. The conditional stat line that this card can get is crack valley that normally goes for 3 mana and will be used to pressure and block kind of like a jagged butcher but with fearsome. She wants to be in darkness, go hard or another SI mid range deck. Number 9 Conchologist Conchology seems like an auto include for most non aggro the city decks. It gives you the choice of an often times strong, low cost spell in your regions to get ahead in a situation and the creative cards are good for augment units. Expect to see this in Teemo decks and midrange as control the city. Number 8. Stress Defense Stress Defense is going to arm up strategies while closing down aggression. Use it on enemies for a semi frostbite or your own units to buff up their HP and protect them. This card is essentially the mid range bundle city combat trick for slower decks like Team Arcade or Prank Focus strategies. Aloof Travelers takes number 7. Travelers not only has a good start line and draw, but it can herald and seriously destroy pan states. It has shrooms in the synch, it gives the two sided draw effect, but even better since it just throws and discards one enemy card that could be their win condition or top end. A puff cap combo or a PNZ control deck will be great home for this card. Karina Mastermind takes number 6. Karina Mastermind is a big, scary finisher card for flash traps and shrooms with an alt effect to stall out games better. She doubles up on trap by to blow up enemy nexus with shroom damage or kill units with flash traps. She's going to be seen in decks like Teemo Ezreal or Teemo Kaelin. Number 5 Senna Senna's spell acceleration is going to create some disgusting plays next patch like fast ruination or double go hard on the stack. She buffs up the value of slow removal tools and even does removal or burn when she is leveled, generates card for some discard synergy and has a good offensive stat line. Of course the deck that fits Senna the most is Darkness with Vagar, but her effect is useful for slower strategies like Control or even a new version of Go Hard for her cool interactions with it. Reborn Grenadier steals number 4. I see Reborn Grenadier cranking up the power level of discard strats in the future. It's versatile being able to discard or be discarded well with the possibility of a burst speed attacker. It has a place in anything that runs discard synergy and wants to push early damage like discard aggro, cyan decks or even draven riven. Nami takes number 3. Nami mixes a lot of concepts together for a spell based mermaid valley engine with good elusive synergy. She has an RS stat line due to the attune with a synergistic champ spell but really shines when she levels and gets a slap on grape off show the board. Nami has a home in her deck with Vandal City and Fizz, Targon or even Ionia and its elusives. Octopus is going to take the number 2 slot. Prank seems like a powerful effect giving hand information while raising the mana cost or lowering the value of enemy cards. And Octopus is like a buy one get one free being a prank and a free 1-1 one -one stick with a potential for recall synergy. In general, bundle midrange, control or a Nami deck is going to want prank but I feel like a region combination that prank might be sleeper in is Targon for the value game plan that they play. Here are some honorable mentions. Zeeds Wastewalker Fleet Admiral Shelley Yeah <laughs> boy Probably as expected, Minimorph is at number 1. The concept of this card adds a whole new type of interaction to the game to traumatize the meta like never before. The Bursi permanent transform is going to body decks that focus on specific win cons and protecting it like Lee, with the only interaction being a spell she put on from before. Non aggro bundle city decks are going to love having this other 12 to slow down the game like Darius and Puffka combo decks. Here are some of the decks that I want to play in the new patch using cards from this video. Looking forward to seeing how funny the burn damage can get on Darkness and Team Arcade. 